Landmines and Jellyfish, welcome back to Knives, I Guess, and somebody should call Weekly World News and see if Bat Boy is doing okay. I haven't heard from him in a while. So what we're doing today is taking a look at the redemption of a bad knife. And this is something I got back in December 2021, and I really, really wanted it to be good. I wanted to carry it. I had way less going on, so I had more carry time available to each knife, and I really wanted to carry this one. That's going to be the Gerber Quadrant, and I did a video on this, a short, back in the early days of this channel, and I absolutely blasted it because out of the box, I could preload this flipper as hard as I could and really go in on it, and it might open that far. Like, it was bad, bad. Bad pivot, bad detent, everything. When it did open, this thing would lock up so hard that uh, more often than not, I had to get a screwdriver and pry it back open, which... Out of the box, that is very bad. And this was $25 and some change, and I expect better out of a $10 knife, and I get better out of a $10 knife. Hello, Harbor Freight. So, I decided I was going to try to start messing with these now that I'm having a lot less mechanical sympathy for them, now that I'm getting tons of them floating around. And uh, I went in, I got a second driver set, and I tried to get all these screws work loose. They're Torx heads on both sides, so you got to have two drivers. And, of course, immediately one of the drivers slipped and bit me right here, which I'm still kind of angry about, not going to lie. But I got one screw on each side of this thing worked out, and then I went in on this one, and it's locked in there so tight that it won't move, and I'm not about to strip driver heads out trying to deal with this. So I put the screws back and did the one thing that I didn't want to do, and I got in on the lock and just pulled on it and pulled on it until it relaxed enough to start working like normal. And now, after doing that, a little bit of wrist flick and it pops open. It's a very light wrist flick and it's acceptable for something on bronze washers. You know, you're not going to get bearing-like performance unless it's a much higher end knife or someone's doing a lot better job making them. One of the other problems I had is the top of this bevel right here is pretty wavy. Like, it's hard to see it on camera, but this thing is wavy and uneven and don't look good. And again, I expect better out of a $10 knife and I get better out of a $10 knife. Hi, Harbor Freight. Uh, the edge on this was absolute garbage. Uh, it wouldn't cut anything trying to go through plastic. It just tore it instead of cutting it. Um, it didn't do great, so I took it to the work sharp precision adjust, and I got that thing way better. There's a nice mirror edge on both sides. It's really clean. Let's see if this works on camera. Come on. It's a lot better. You know, it's not perfect, but I'm still learning how to use a precision adjust and get the most out of it. But really, the moral of the story here is don't be afraid to work on these things and mess with them. If they're not good out of the box, you can probably do something to improve that. I'm going to take a look at getting this thing apart and trying to improve it, work on the, uh, the detent, work on the liner lock, all that, and see if I can't get this to function like it's supposed to because I wanted this knife to be decent, like I had heard good things about newer Smith & Wessons. They're not going to keep up with Civivi or Artisan or CJRB or anything like that. But it's supposed to be a decent little knife, especially for a use and abuse situation. So uh, that's what I'm you know, just saying. Work on your stuff. Don't be afraid of messing with it. And if it's a bad knife that you can't use, don't be scared of breaking it, trying to make it right. Um, I was really timid with these, and again... I am suffering from way less mechanical sympathy the more of these things pile up and the more stuff I have to mess with. So, yeah, take them apart, fix them, do what you need to. Um, I'm just happy I got this thing working the way I like them to. But thanks for watching. If you haven't subbed, please do so we can get to 1,000. And uh, with that, have a nice day.